Hi, friends. We are at French Broad River Brewing in Asheville, North Carolina. The last time we were in Asheville was eight years ago. <laughs> it doesn't seem possible. You'd think as much as we love breweries, we've been to <laughs> Asheville more than once in every it's eight like years. the brewery capital of the mountains of North Carolina. Yeah, this is such a hub for craft breweries. Um, I don't know the exact count in the city, but there is a tremendous amount of breweries in this city. So we are here checking out French Broad River Brewing. And this came highly recommended from Steph's sister, Michelle, and her husband, Colin. They have been here many times before, so we are gonna go check it out. You might actually see a cameo of them. And for the record, this makes Brewery 206. Let's go check it out. finished up at French Broad River Brewing. There's a <laughs> river on the end, so you gotta make sure you get the river. Tell us about it. So I had the cherry stout on nitro, pretty solid. Uh, the winner of the day was the cherry limeade seltzer. Uh, not typically a huge seltzer fan, but this one they got right. I would um, drink it over a soda any day. It was perfect. I had a flight of their IPAs. Their IPAs were all awesome. We've had their IPA before. Won't let you down. All four of them were really good. Their red was probably the best in my opinion. The other beer I had was their Scotch Ale. It's one special. It's only three bucks for a pint. You can't go wrong. The beer was delicious. Apparently they do that on Thursdays. Check them out on Thursdays. And Papa Nick's Pizza did not disappoint. They're tucked right back here in this little alley. Right, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Check it out. French Broad River Brewing. So we have made it to the Disney World of Breweries here at New Belgium Brewing in Asheville. Can you see those tanks? Just yeah. a few. Yeah, just yeah. a little. They, they might distribute their beer a little bit. Small little operation here, you yeah. know. And this isn't their only location. Right. It's true, but you should know the facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had two locations. Colorado, I think. Anyway. Calm yourself. <laughs> this is brewery number 207 for us, and probably the largest brewery we've ever visited on any of our trips. It's so massive. It's huge. Here we go.
Belgium, we were joined by uh, people that we'd like to blame our brewery addiction for. Um, my brother-in-law, Colin, and my sis, my best sis, my only sis, Michelle. So they're going to tell you about the beers and their experience here. <laughs> so uh, I started with the Voodoo Ranger Hazy IPA. It was um, hazy, hoppy. Go figure. Heavenly. <laughs> really good. Three H's. And then I went to the Hop Future IPA. It's pretty futuristic. Really tasty. Hop forward. Malty. Great beers here at New Belgium. I don't yeah. know what she's drinking over here, Miss Gluten Free Queen. That's right. So for you gluten free folks, welcome. I adore you. I commend you and I applaud you. So I had the fruit smash to start, which was a hard seltzer, pink lemonade. I mean, it's obviously made for adults, not children. And then I don't know what I had because I let Colin take my second drink. Very blessed. And it is delicious. So you're looking for the uh, non-gluten options. New Belgium's got them. And uh, also, if you have children. New Belgium's got it. <laughs> Haven't seen him in an hour. Look at that field of glorious children. More drinkers here than there are beer drinkers, and that is a good sign. Cheers. Happy New Year. Okay, you want. <laughs>